Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about the structure and function of ribosomes, which are a key player in protein synthesis. I know the majority of my audience are students, and I create content specifically designed to save you time. So if you want to spend less time studying, consider subscribing for easy access to all my time-saving content. Ribosomes are an underrated hero of the cell, and the average mammalian cell has about 10 million ribosomes. They are made of RNA and protein, and their function in the cell is to read RNA and synthesize protein. Very meta. Ribosomes have two major subunits, simply called the large and small subunits. Both subunits contain protein and RNA. The RNA in ribosomes is called, not surprisingly, ribosomal RNA, or rRNA for short. In eukaryotic cells, ribosomes are synthesized in the nucleolus of the nucleus. The location of ribosomes in the cell determines where the proteins they make end up. Ribosomes freely floating in the cytoplasm of the cell synthesize proteins to be used within the cell, while ribosomes bound to the rough endoplasmic reticulum synthesize proteins that will end up outside the cell, either bound to the cell membrane or released from the cell as a signaling protein, for example. Ribosomes synthesize protein in a process called translation, where they read strands of mRNA and bring the right amino acids together to build a long polypeptide chain that will eventually become a functioning protein. I'll make a separate video about this whole process and link it below when it's ready. Now watch this test prep playlist if you have any exams coming up, or watch these videos on topics you may find interesting. I also have some additional study resources linked in the description if you want to take your study to the next level. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.